Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Virgo. Welcome. So I'm going to be looking at the overall general energy of Virgo and not any one person specific energy. If you would like a reading where I look at your specific energy, feel free to uh, schedule your own appointment. The link is in the description box below. So Virgos, um, take what resonates and leave the rest. So far, looking at the cards, you are working on core issues. Um, so if you are going through maybe a, a difficult time, things are trying, um, that is why you're working on very fundamental core issues. So in the past, you were in the energy of new beginnings. So this is the fool card. Feels like you left that door, closed it behind you, turned around and, and now you're starting out on a new adventure, a new aspect, a new cycle. Let's get some clarification. It looks like what you walked away from was um, just a really negative aspect of your life. Something, an aspect where you didn't feel that you had any control. You might've been resistant for this change but there's an aspect of you that wanted to break cycles. You wanted to walk away to something, some positivity, some happiness, some warmth and celebration. Because where you were before that, it was like you were playing small. It doesn't feel like um, you could be yourself. You're in a situation where there was a lot of confusion, clouded judgment. Ooh, it just, it's like, um, it was hard, to, again, confusion coming up, indecision again. It feels like it was hard to make heads or tails of what was going on. You might have been um, recovering from some type of financial loss or Actually, I'm reading, it could be that for some, I'm reading for a lot of you, it was a disconnection, maybe even a disconnection from, from source, from God, like a, a really feeling separated. With that being said, um, we are always connected to source, we are always divinely connected, but because we are loved so much, we are given freedom to create a, a we're able to create that feeling of disconnection, but you cannot create that feeling of disconnection unless you are co-creating with source. So you are always divinely connected. It's just sometimes it does feel like maybe there's some reason of creating disconnection. So this feels like a really tough situation that you were in the past. 
And it feels like as that that you walked away from it to find that positivity, fun, celebration, even abundance. So in your present time, got the tower, right, Virgos, disruption. So in present time, you have disruption. Let's clarify disruption. There's an imbalance going on right now. You might have um, it feels like your energy is really over on various issues, really tipping the scale. So there's this like imbalance, but it feels like it's really far to one side and really far to one side. Um, so I guess that would be like extreme type of energies. And it might make you want to overindulge um, drinking or drugs, something to disconnect so you don't feel so out of balance. I feel like some of you could feel this tower coming. The towers are disruptive on purpose, not as a punishment, but as a way to wake you up to some way of being that has you out of balance, out of alignment. And by causing this disruption, it allows you to see things in a whole different way. I know when I first started doing tarot, um, I had a lot of avoidance, resistance to the tower card. And now after I've gone through several, several towers while reading tarot, I'm like, oh, there's some really good stuff that happens at the after the tower. Wildly discomfortable, uncomfortable. This disruption is so uncomfortable. Towers are very uncomfortable. They shake up your life. They, but then you, you have an opportunity for clarity. So it looks like there's um, a disharmony in your space now that it might be about around a group, a conflict in a group, misaligned with a group. Ooh, and you are, you are wanting justice. You're wanting balance. That's, yes, you're wanting balance. Something has been very out of balance for a while. It's in your past energy. You walked away to find that happiness. And now in present time, you're wanting that balance. It feels like the tower is the divine giving you that opportunity to find balance. Maybe there is an inability to find it on continuing the way you were continuing and behaving and thinking, I want balance, I want balance, but there, there wasn't a shift in your energy. And so this tower is allowing you to shake things up so you can see things differently. Boy, there's something that's, maybe this justice is 
it's coming so slowly. There's some kind of frustration in your space because things haven't changed. Yes, things haven't changed. They're stagnant. They're, there's a resistance to change somewhere. Is that you? Is that your energy? There's some something that's stagnant. There's something you want balance, but it feels like I want balance, but I don't want to change. I don't want to change, but I want balance. <laughs> um, I've been there. I get that. Um, it looks like you're going within to, to find your answers because that's where all your answers are within. Right. You're really doing some soul searching to figure out, I feel like it's about the cycle, whatever is stagnant, whatever group this is. It feels like, it looks like once you do go inside and you surrender and let go, maybe letting go of trying to control this situation, if once you surrender and let go, and accept where you're at. This is where I'm at. I, I can't move from this. I can't avoid it. If, if drinking and, and or drugs resonates with you or some type of addiction so you, you don't have to deal with this energy by surrendering and, and accepting that okay, this is, this is going on, then you are making space for change, releasing whatever is causing so much imbalance in your life. Hmm. There's some new energy coming in. Um, it, what I'm getting is that you are trying to solve this here by analyzing. analyzing this way, this way, this way, this way. It feels like it's, it's as soon as you, you have a thought about this, then you are like, well, what about that? And then one we'll put this and then that, and it, uh, there's just a lot of thinking. There are so many other chakras that have wisdom and knowledge about knowledge about you, about your path, and about what you want, not just this space. There's the heart space, maybe sinking into that heart space, your lower chakras have a lot of emotions. Maybe that's, um, ooh, it feels like the emotions are, there's a lot of fear in there. Fear of even facing those emotions. I feel like you're, there's an overwhelm 
because there's been um, trying to avoid feeling those emotions. And that's why the disruption is happening. I feel like you believe that you've lost a lot of opportunities, a lot of chances. Oh, there's something in this group dynamic, this um, connection, this relationship that's popping up that's um, feels like a bad investment. It's also related to this energy in the past as well. Bad investment. Yes, that you, you're you ready, you're disappointed. I feel like you want to escape those emotions instead of walking away from whatever this situation is. It's like you're abandoning yourself. You're abandoning your emotions. You might be ab abandoning this energy as well. Ooh. You might be even experiencing some, some gut issues, lower intestinal distress. I'm getting that whoever is a part of this group, this who you're connected with, that they're very self-centered, maybe smothering type of energy. There's someone in that group. They might be financially independent. Hmm. Ooh, okay, here more people from the group are now showing up. So some it there's a codependency in this um, connection in this group. And so it creates a lot of insecurity, jealousy, smothering, self-centeredness, conflict. This could be um, a relationship. There's just, there's imbalance in this relationship. There's, um, lot of suffering like staying in the re this relationship that's um where you both are detached you are definitely detached from your emotions there's a lot of indecision uh fear of change and yet everybody's staying in this very stagnant energy you do want a happy home. You want a community, you want harmony. I feel like there's an aspect of you that, that you, like your energy is so far away from joy and harmony and community and homecoming feel like you're trying to get to that homecoming, maybe through addiction, addictive behavior and abandoning your emotions, like an escaping instead of um, instead of feeling those emotions. Again, financial independence is showing up. There's a, a 
real desire to be financially independent, self-sufficient, self-sufficient. You want a healthy independence. It, 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 you want community, you want independence from whatever this is. In the past, you walked away to find that sunshine, to find that joy and happiness. And, and there's still this energy in your space. Maybe the walking away to find your joy and happiness, the, um, maybe you did leave this relationship, but there's either new people in your space who have that same energy or it's unresolved the cycle hasn't been closed out and so it's still in your energy whatever was unresolved whatever from the past physically if you did walk away it's still in your energy unresolved It feels like a weight in, in the back body, a weight kind of um, pulling you to the past and causing a lot of confusion. There's this fear of change. I, I feel like the fear of change is a, a fear of personal transformation. I that seems to be a lot of what's going on is this fear. Um, I don't know how to change that this person or this group, these things outside of me, I don't know how to change them. I've tried to change them. I've tried to make that change so I can be happy, but all of your power is here is real lasting power and change comes within. And it feels like there's a confusion as to, to how to, to change this. How to change how you feel about yourself, how to change your behavior. Wow. All right, so your higher self, Virgo, is in the energy of power. Yes. So this is taught your higher self is saying you've got you've got the power. I've got the power. You've got the power to you're more powerful than you think. You have the power to change. This power card talks about an inner power an inner strength, a fiery energy inside, a power to shift from one aspect of yourself to another. That's beautiful. You've got the power to recover from the worst type of betrayal. And getting some of you were the one, I feel like everybody in this situation feels betrayed. I feel like you might have um, hurt some people, caused some pain as a reflection of your own inner pain, you created um, pain in the 3D. And it feels like a, a fear of, um, accepting what happened, whatever your story is of processing those emotions without the storyline, just validating that these are really complex and um, difficult emotions. 
it also feels like you're being really hard on yourself, like punishing yourself. I feel like there's something that you feel that you did or that you did that is causing you so much grief. And the first person, um, I feel like you need to be a soft place to land for yourself, that we all make mistakes. Ooh, it's really tough. Wow. This is really powerful. The, the, these are major arcana, the, our core issues. You have the strength within you to heal this. Wow. All right. The, your challenge right now is wisdom. Your challenge is... So it feels like you've been avoiding um, feeling this, acknowledging this, understanding this from a broader point of view. It, it looks like you walk away from your emotions, and, and walk away from difficult situations instead of um, exploring and finding, like maybe there's a, a lack of understanding how to do that, how to, how to accept what happened, how to process those emotions, to feel them without giving them more momentum to just feel what you're feeling. And, and af as the emotions clear out of your space and flow out of your space, then you get new insights, new wisdom. You can see things from a new vantage point and gain the wisdom from this experience so you can move on with light. It does seem that whatever this, this group, this relationship, it does feel even more so like a, a partnership or a relationship. maybe even a third party situation. Someone put someone in a third party situation and there's just grief and suffering all the way around. What's interesting is with your energy, you have access to emperor energy. You have access to being a protector and disciplined and focused. Something, um, it, it feels like you, you um, got out of balance wildly out of balance and the more out of balance that you got uh, there was a, a lack of ability to know how to bring yourself back into balance and instead you might have a pattern a habit of just leaving um situations maybe this is what the new beginning was to find sunshine maybe you left this relationship that was very dissatisfying to find a, another relationship, something that would be more fulfilling or someone 
No, it feel it feels like you left the relationship. Someone had a third party situation, um, but nobody's happy in this. Like everybody who's in this, and even people around this, um, there's just a lot of pain and suffering because this cycle has not been closed out. It's just been avoided. It's been put on the back burner and now it's attracting flies and mold. And, and so this disruption in your energy is saying, we got to take care of this. We have to heal this so you can move on so you can come back into balance. Whew. All right, Virgo. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for sharing your energies. Thanks. Bye.